I think it's time we gave the Sydney Swans their just desserts. Sitting on top of the AFL ladder, had an outstanding year, yet um, slowly going under the radar. When you look at the numbers, Tomo, it's hard to know why. Least points scored against in the comp, number one in the league for tackles, best percentage, second for goal accuracy, third in the league for contested possessions, fourth for clearances, and as we say, they sit on top of the ladder. And interestingly, Adam Goods and Shane Mumford missed 13 games between them, and the other one uh, who we'll talk about is Sam Reid, who's come back into some real good form. I mean, flag favourite or not? No, no, not in any stretch of the imagination. It's, uh, look, they, they're a great side to, to love the way they go about it, their professionalism, and their culture and all that. Haven't played West Coast, play them this week. They haven't, haven't, had a played, good draw. haven't played Collingwood. Uh, beat uh, Essendon by, what, six points. Beat Geelong by four points. Beat uh, Hawthorne down in Sydney, uh, Hawthorne, uh, down in Tassie. Hawthorne was a really good performance. Uh, this bloke makes a difference, though. He does, he does. Is uh, the MCG mental or the way they play? Is, is the MCG problem is going to be the big asterisk on them into the back end. Well, they want a grant, a premiership there. They were uh, well no. beaten by Richmond there earlier this year. Not this team, did Yeah. Um, look, I, I, I just see them in, in uh, finishing bottom four of the eight. I don't, I don't see them making a huge impact in finals. And uh, that's been the mentality, though, I reckon, most of the year. We're at round 15 now, and I, know, I take your point about the fact they haven't played those very good sides, but they, they keep bobbing up and they keep winning and they keep putting sides away. They've got some nice outside run into the unit. Mm. I'm just wondering whether or not we need... Well, you don't have to, but mm. readjust where, where they're going to be comes They've September. They've no doubt performed better than I think everyone expected them to, and full credit to John Longmire, who's playing a pretty much a lone hand up there, doesn't have a lot of recognition nice support around him, you know, uh, Lee Tudor and um, who else is there, uh, Johnny Blakey, but uh, no doubt he gets a lot of assistance from Paul Roos, but um, uh, look, I think they've done a very, very good job in there. What we love about Sydney is what they've, we've got for the last decade, and that is an ultra-consistent performance. Mm. Because, because it's an ultra-consistent system, sorry, Craig, but they promote from within. I mean, everyone, the footy manager became the CEO, the assistant coach became the senior coach, and as Richard Collis saw, calls it, the Shankly theory, you know, like the old Liverpool system. They just keep getting good people. They follow the same philosophies. I mean, in the so many clubs get someone new in and change everything. Mm. They haven't changed for a decade. And mm. you, you, your point was the most poignant. I mean, Goods yeah. and Mumford back into that team. Well, they haven't really fired a They've shot. Only just well, Sam Reid's to... starting to get his mojo back. So mm. they sit on top of the AFL ladder without those three being a massive factor for the past 10 or 12 weeks. It, just a little quick last one on this. Mm-hmm. The perception is they punch well, punch well above their weight. Mm. But is that now a wrong perception? Well, that's are, they, are we not rating them well, well enough? No one has to change their opinion anywhere. But I just think now that the legitimacy of them continues to come every time they play. And I just think with Jack and Jetta and, and even Andreas Everett, Everett adding a little bit of different to their forward and back mix, I think they're going to be right there. And I think it's a great I, thing. To I sort. think they've always been highly respected and they still are. Everyone respects the bejesus yep. out of Sydney. Yeah, but there's always a rider on it. And I hate to be parochial, but I'm not Still really looking forward to preliminary final week if there's not a preliminary final at the MCG. Don't worry about the fixturing just yet. We'll it's a, about it's the a very big issue, Gary. It could be in Adelaide, it could be at the West, it could be over at Patterson Stadium, it could well, be at ANZ Stadium. Only a couple of weeks ago, uh, we would have thought that Essendon was... Yeah, we'll worry about the fixturing, the preliminary final fixturing later. Essendon were going to factor in this. Now, Hachi, I know you've been bullish.